Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, Basil has an outstanding show at 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great news out of the opening call. But we're here today, folks, for a party. We're here for a holiday, par a holiday party. And uh, if you happen to be in the Boston area, and that goes all the way to New Hampshire, folks, because it's not like New Hampshire is right next to Boston. There's no doubt about that. Uh, bottom line, I'm Mr. Basil Chapman. He is going to be at MIT tomorrow night, 7 to 9 o'clock, and they're going to have a holiday party and a potluck reception. So bottom line, cook your best meal, bring your main dish, come over there. It's going to be okay. We can get you if, if you don't write something down in your car, folks. If you want the address of this, just call us up, email us, okay? You can email sales at TF, and then we'll send you the address. So it's at 2 Amherst Street in Cambridge. That's room 395, Basil, right? Is that right? Yes, correct. Okay, so it's room 395. And it starts at 6.30, actually, because oh. we, uh, we, we were snowed out last week. So we, we uh, rescheduled it for, for this week. Oh. And uh, they, in the notes here, you'll see it's 6.30, potluck -like reception and networking, 7.30, seeking investment opportunities for 2020 by Basil Chapman. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's 6.30, folks. It's tomorrow night. It is 2 Amherst Street, Cambridge, and it's real easy to get to, by the way, folks. Okay, when I was up in Boston, this thing's been going on forever. And, you know, I went to plenty of them when Basil was uh, up there still teaching. So pretty cool, Basil. So what are we going to talk about? So um, this is going to be a very timely move because we're coming to the end of the year. It's been really a, a, an absolutely, uh, for portfolio managers, uh, this is compared to this time last year. Yes. Where... This is a very good year for them. They're happy. So yeah. they are happy. And now comes the very interesting part of it because um, money has been made in certain sectors. And, you know, we are, how many times have you and I been on and I've spoken about the FANG stocks? And I said they're not all doing the same thing. Some of them are lagging. Amazon's lagging. Um, you know, this is uh, yes. very selective. Netflix is lagging. So it's a very selective move. But it is a move. You know, I love to talk about the Dow, and maybe tomorrow in our interview, our regular interview, I'll, I'll talk about that because you've also got the uh, uh, Tiger uh, Dollars um, coming up there right now. So that's going to be very important to talk about. But I just wanted to say that what's really nice about this is that over at the uh, discussions, you've got both Investors Business Daily and you've got Boston Investors Group. This is a combined uh, meetup. It's a potluck holiday party yeah. and talk. So I get questions that really forced me to look at um, certain stocks in a different way. I, you know, I do technical analysis. But a lot of people come up with either fundamental or they come up with other aspects that they are looking at and they ask, what do you see in these stocks? So yeah, because they, they got a good long-term view, a lot of the They've got a different right. perspective. Sure. Some of them are very long-term. Some of them actually do day trading. But I, I like to you know, deal with all these different aspects. It's, very, it's a challenge, and I love that kind of challenge. So it's always very interesting because I, I, I end up going into areas that normally I wouldn't be asked questions about. So it's always... It's always fascinating for me, but at the same time, it's a learning experience for me and a learning experience for those in the audience because I show them techniques. For instance, I just talk, I, I'll do this tomorrow, but I just want to show, we'll talk about this, these little rectangles here on the Dow chart. You know how many times over the year I've spoken about that we've got this um, rectangle formation at, at shorter term tops. And the one that almost worked on, uh, you know, we spoke about being in a sell mode yes. uh, from the 27th, uh, two days later, and it plunged down to uh, a gap down to the 27,300s. And then we had a good move on Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, there was this gap up. And now we've stalled. So this is a very important thing because just these two moving indicators, this, this nine period moving average and the 14 period, Instead of, it was one point to cross lower on Thursday if, if it was weak. And instead, uh, what happened is we had this gap up coming in on Friday. So I'm going to be talking about all these different aspects that make things either simple or you can make it complex. But I want to be talking about the simple things. I'm going to go into areas that have been yeah, that very successful. Very, that I can see what you're saying. That nine's very close to failing again, even today. And, and even yeah, now, it's, it's starting to 
it's but it is above it hasn't changed yeah. to pink and right. look at this <laughs> so these are things that it's real nice and easy to see you just count the number of bars and you, you expect certain things to happen so i'll be talking about that i'll be talking about what sectors have done well what sectors i think could actually be leaders in 2020. And I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to talk a little politics, not politics on who to vote, but politics of, of the market right now. And uh, when I talk about a bad news cloud cover, what do I expect? What is a bad news? How does the market react to these things? So this is a very important moment in terms of end of year, what do you do? What are you looking at for, for next year? And there's some sectors that are starting to improve quite a bit. So I'll be talking about that. You spoke about uh, the, the uh, copper just a moment ago. I'm going to be introducing aspects of commodities as well. So I think it's going to be very, uh, very entertaining nice. and hopefully very informative. So I thought I'd give it, get, just take the moment here to talk about what's coming up, what we're expecting, and uh, what possibly we can expect for 2020. And as you say, if they, they just have to go to the, anyone interested in coming tomorrow night at 6.30 over at MIT in Cambridge, 70 uh, Memorial Drive. It's actually on Amherst, uh, Amherst, to Amherst Street is the address itself. Quite easy to get you on the third floor. That's where the party will be. And that's okay. where it's a beautiful room that we're going to. Um, and it should be a lot of fun. I'm glad, I'm glad you brought, what number Memorial Drive, Basil? I believe it's 70 Memorial Drive. Okay, so this is important, folks, okay? Because what ends up happening, all you folks that are in the Boston area, right? You know, New Hampshire, whatever, you're coming down. So use the 70 Memorial Drive first. So I remember that's, this. The last, that's the last left turn. If yes. you're coming, going to town, this is what you really want to get to, right? Right. So there's a, there's a, there's a, a left turn. And then you take, you go straight. Yes. You don't turn. You don't yep. go back along one more. You just go straight. Take a left at Amherst. It's just one block, and, and it's you, right there. You find and parking. So, to park. yeah. so 70 Memorial Drive. Then it's going to be two Amherst. But as Basil just said, it's much easier taking the Memorial Drive. I just because there's so many addresses, you'll get to it real easy, folks. So that's right. And, and also, this is uh, there. We you'll be meeting a lot of uh, uh, tigers. I mean, there are yeah. a lot of people in the area that listen and always love to come in and meet me, and I like to meet them and talk about the you know, TF and NN. So it's going to be a lot of fun. You gotta love it. Six thirty to uh, eight thirty, folks. Bottom line: bring a good dish, make your best dish. You guys will be chowing down six thirty to seven thirty. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be the main star at seven thirty to eight thirty. It's a beautiful thing. So, hey, uh, is it winter up there yet? Oh, it's it's cold. It's been cold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't have to rub it in. <laughs> it's winter. No, I, hey, listen, I, you know, it's, I know. We, you know what happens in Florida, folks, is that it's, so September is so hot, it's disgusting. I mean, it's just terrible because Every, everyone's fed up with it. And what happened last year, Basil, is that, and right up until like January, it was still too hot. This really? year, yeah, it was. This year is just, you know, the weather cracked, folks, like about two and a half, three weeks ago. So we have oh, like good. 75 degrees every day. Like this is like, you know, you, uh, we don't get outdoor this Outdoor tennis. So, what more could oh, you, you want? You go out of your mind, man. <laughs> you go out of your mind. Okay, well, listen, man, you have a, a great night, safe night. We look forward to the show tomorrow. And, of course, all Thank the Tigers and Tigers is going to be up there growling a problem with you eating some good food tomorrow night. I hope night. so. Okay, man. Thanks, Basil. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow is down 77. Nasdaq's off 25. S&P's off 6.5. We're coming right back.